Hello, I'm Green. And I'm Purple. Welcome back to Green and Purple. We're back playing Jack and Daxter today. And uh, we're in the underground area, which is going to take us to our first boss. He's going to be right around this corner, if I remember right. I love this happy, cheery oh, music. No, he's just a little... <laughs> yeah. Caleb pointed that out. It's just like... It's, it's happier down here in the depths. Oh, God. <laughs> than it is up there in the jungle. <laughs> in the jungle. The jungle is more foreboding. We'll see, but the jungle's forbidden. This isn't. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no one said you can't go underneath. Under the ground. Into the big ruin area or whatever. Maybe the... Maybe the boss isn't here. Maybe I'm thinking wrong. Or maybe he's just further along down here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is what opens all of those. That way we can go back to the beach and get that one point. That one thing. Yeah, I know. I've played this game before. <laughs> hey, did you know this? Did you do it? Okay. Bulker. Just thought I check. Here's where the boss is. I go back through here though, because I think there's. Wasn't there one of those jump things yeah. around here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all those sweet precursor ones. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I love them. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You don't lose much in, in death in this game other than just. like progress and. In an area, but it, there's they're pretty generous with the checkpoints most of the time. That's always nice. There's the boss. Meh. <laughs> He's not too bad. I'm gonna die a lot now because I said that. <laughs> right. he, he'll put up these platforms so you can conveniently get right up to him. What an idiot. <laughs> Ah, how did I get defeated? Hey. <laughs> oh, one. how did he do it? <laughs> one of those bosses where it's like, are you, are you even... Are you, are you trying? I don't know if you're trying. Yeah, it's his own fault. I think the, the bosses in this game are, are pretty good, but... I mean, I know he is just, like, the first boss, right, but and... he is pretty. Oh, yeah, you gotta make sure and get these. I don't know where they're coming from, but... They're there. It's his mouth. The big yellow one is the sun? Exactly. Now you're getting a kid. <laughs> And then we're back here. And there's still a couple things we have to do. We gotta redirect the info beam or something. But I don't wanna. But you have to. <laughs> because that's what you gotta do when you're a hero. Because it's on the quest slot. <laughs> because when you're the main we're protagonist, gonna you gotta do everything everyone tells you to do because they're too lazy to do it. Exactly. Now you're getting it, Caleb. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. No. Because I'm pretty sure just touching those is enough to set them off, if I remember right. The killer fish or something. I'm a piranha. They're from <laughs> the Amazon. <laughs> Cut the <a> kid. <laughs> it's dark. Darla. Isn't yeah, it? Darla. Darla. <laughs> Just whenever she shows up and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> one of the best villains. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Let's see what's up here. She wouldn't stop shaking she, the bag. She wouldn't stop shaking the bag. <laughs> <laughs> 
And also, as you can see, all these little like tree roots are, are dead now. Because we done killed them. Oh, God. That was impressive. Ooh. Ooh, I am impressive. I'm so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's that thing. Video games poorly portray piranhas because they're not... They're not that ravenous. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I feel like they can be dangerous for sure, but I don't think they just actively just like, hey, we're going to eat this whole person. <laughs> You know, there's just one out here, just floating on a rock. Someone must have lost. Actually, here, let me. Cause I remember one time. I, one time I looked up like uh, myths on snakes and like which ones are real, which ones are. There used to be this one show. I don't even remember what it was called, but it was like these stupid guys would just do stupid things. Like that was the whole show. But uh, I think one time they like got naked and then just like got in this like tank full of piranhas and then one like started biting the dude's junk or something it was high class entertainment I bet <laughs> it's always funny to watch stupid people get hurt because of their own stupidity right it's, an... <laughs> it's so funny to watch the common people hurt themselves <laughs> <laughs> I really am Victor <laughs> That's how, I always, that's how I always feel um, about, like, most of the characters I make in, like, our D&D campaigns and stuff like that. Oh, yeah? I always feel like they're, like, sides of my personality <laughs> just taken <laughs> just to an extreme. Taken all the way. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, I think that's what makes it fun, though, is because then it's just like, it is me, but it isn't. Yeah. It's me if I was, like, a total asshole. <laughs> right. Because you're not. Dang Definitely not. Okay, well, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> okay, we gotta go back down there and get that blue eco. You know what I say? You know what I say? This helps me none. Up here. So yeah, now we have to use these things to like redirect the eco or something. Oh. Here we go. There we go. Now we gotta go over there. Okay, yeah. What's up? Okay, I found it. It says here, Piranhas are neither particularly angry or frenzy like mad at the first drop of blood. Right. While it is true that an incident did occur featuring an unpleasant end for a cow, the entire event was staged. Mm. Um, well, I mean, I know, because, like, why I think they people think they're scary is because they're one of the few fish that does eat, like, yeah. me, you know, other than just other fish, but... I did. Yeah, because it, they said, like, um, how they're usually portrayed is because when they were showing them off, they had, like, captured a few of them and locked them off in an area mm -hmm. so that they were hungry, so that when right. they, they threw food in there, of course it went into a ravenous frenzy because, because they, they were, were hungry. hungry. Yeah, these fish are horrified of coming into contact with humans. Larger fish such as dolphins, birds, and bigger fish regularly hunt them. Uh, this prompts piranhas to swim in schools for defense, not for offensive reasons. A large part of this predator's existence evolves being anything but a predator. Uh, contrary to common belief, piranhas are omnivores, often scavenging, scavenging on already dead prey, insects, and plants. Mm. While those that swim in piranha-filled waters occasionally get nipped, it remains unproven that even a single human can be killed by the irrationally feared fish. Not only could you dip your hand into a piranha territory without being bitten, you likely could swim in such areas daily without so much as seeing the fish. While it's certainly not recommended as accidents can't happen, that's how little of a threat piranhas actually are. Right. Because, I mean... I imagine their teeth are sharp, but they're oh, yeah. still little. Like, mm -hmm. you, 
It would be hard for him to bite through you. <laughs> I mean, still, like it says, I don't. I wouldn't want to mess with any piranhas. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it'd be more like, like I said, like it'd be more like you messing with them. It wouldn't be like them attacking you or anything. Self defense, right? It's like with bees. They're not going to attack you unless you mess with them or you disturb their hive. Right. I still don't want to mess with them, but like, right. that's the whole thing. They won't come after you unless you give them a reason to. Because they know that if I sting you, that's going to kill me. Like, animals are usually pretty good at, like, knowing what's going to kill them or not. <laughs> don't bite me. So we were just talking about you. We were just talking about how you were docile. <laughs> Oh, but the what is it? The is the black mamba? Oh, the snake. Yeah, oh, that just thing's mess a, you up. that thing's aggressive. <laughs> well, because it knows it can kill you really easily. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like yeah, I'm a badass, <laughs> and I know it. And I also know most uh, most spiders are, you know, that for the most part, like they're not aggressive. They won't chase you. They won't try and go after you or anything. Like if they're gonna attack you, it's because it's you know self defense. Right. I mean, Except it, um, there is one type, and they're called the... I think they're called the Wandering Spiders. And those guys are aggressive. Oh, really? Yes, those ones are aggressive. Those ones will probably just... I think they just live in Brazil. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, those ones will come after you. <laughs> well, it's like... Yeah, something like a Black Widow or something could kill you with how venomous they are. Mm -hmm. But they also know how easy it is for you to kill them. Yes. So it's like, why would they want to mess with you, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, we're like... I don't know, what, 50 times their size? Right. Okay, Doc, whenever we come back, we're going to continue reconnecting this beam, and I think that's like... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty all, much we, it. all we have left to do here. And you then cleared we'll, house. Yeah. I, I know this game like the back... I mean, no. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Geez, not the earlier areas, but I haven't played the later areas nearly as much. But whenever we come back, we're going to finish that, and then we're probably going to go back to the beach real quick and uh, finish that up, and then we'll probably head to Misty Island, I think. Okay. Okay, dope. Bye, everybody. See ya.